Hello, this is Mr. Bang Kitano Burnett. I'm here to present this video on how to do a simple mechanism using the GeoGebra Classic software. So the one, the mechanism I have for us here is this. Let me import the image into the GeoGebra app so that we can see how the mechanism works. Okay. So this is where I save this image. So this is the image. Open it here. Let me close this view. Okay. Let me close the houses. Okay. So this is the image of the mechanism I want to demonstrate here. So this the mechanism it starts with this link here, this OA link. As the link rotates round through point A on this axis O, it transmits power to this link A B. You can see this very long link here. As A B also moves, it transmits power to link B C. And B C is attached on this fixed point E. So it rotates on this point E. There's a rocking point here whereby C connect to D and D now reciprocate in this order. So let me start this mechanism. So to start, let me start with the fixed point O. So you get your point O. Let me put it somewhere here. Okay, let me use radius. Let me get my circle. At this point, let me take radius 2 for example. Right. Then get your point A on the link. That's on the circle. Then you connect your segment to the center of the circle. Okay. So let me label all these points. So rename point A. Okay. Then rename this point O. Okay, that means A should go round like this as A rotate transmit power to B. So you have the link AB. Okay, so before I do link AB, let me do locate this fixed point E. So let's get this distance from O to E, which is uh, 1.35. So let's get a point from here. I have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So let's say somewhere here. Okay. And that is the point E. Let me label it. Point E. Alright. Now to locate point B, let me hide this. To locate point B, I need a circle center A. Let me take radius 15. Let's see. Okay. And let me use 16. Let me use 16 circle radius 16. Alright, 16 is okay. Then I need another circle center E. Let me take radius 4, for example, let's see, alright, 4 should be ok now, oh, let me use 5, let me undo it, oh, let me use 4.5, 4.5, ok, so this is point E, ok, then, you need to get your point of intersection between these two circles and that will now give us our point B which is this when you rename it, call it point B and that is all, then let's hide all the points we don't need all the circles we don't need then we connect 
and segment from A to B, then B to E. Alright, let me position my E again. Alright, so this is it. That means as A rotates, you see, it takes the power to B. See it. Okay, so let me get this now. So we need a line from B through E and that will now connect this segment from B through E down to somewhere here. Okay. So let's label this as point C. So that is point C. Then we hide all these ones. We hide all the lines we don't need. Okay. Now let's watch as we turn. Okay. Yeah. So that is the mechanism. Then finally, before we go now. We connect point C to point D on this straight line, and that is get your straight line from E. Let's put it somewhere here, something like this. So, as you get a circle center C, let's take radius. Four, for example, something like this. Or let me use radius five. Center C radius five. Okay, I think this is okay. And that is that. You get your point of intersection between these two, and this point is labeled point D. And every other line and circle we don't need, let's hide them. Let's hide them. Let's hide them. Then let's connect segment from C to D. Then we don't need this, let's hide it. Now our mechanism has been done. So this is the mechanism. Then let's do a small sliding box in this place. So I need a circle. Let's take a circle of let's say zero point six radians. Get your small box and just make a small square here okay so this is point D let me straighten this all right now let me hide all the points I don't need. Hide everything. Just right click and click on show. So with this mechanism is complete. Let me put a trace on point D. Show trace. So let me also put a trace on point A since it's rotating now. So the mechanism is done now. Let's animate it. Right click, click on animation, and that is all. So as A rotate round, A B is connected. You can see it. Then E is a fixed point where C B link oscillate at this point C and C connect to D and D reciprocate in this order. 
So this is a simple mechanism you can use GeoGebra to build it and animate it and that is what I've just done and that is all I have for us in this video. You can hide every other thing you don't need like the grid, the image you can hide it if you want. So that is it. So this is the mechanism I have and thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.